Hello and welcome to day 10. A Holy Marriage What were the thoughts of Mary and Joseph on being united under the eyes of God? Ah, they were surely turned towards the Christ who was to come, towards the promised Messiah. The expectation of the Messiah was in the heart of every good Israelite. The patriarchs, on entering into marriage, had in view primarily the propagation of the race from which the Messiah was to come. But Mary had promised God to remain a virgin, and that promise was very dear to her. She agreed to marry Joseph, but she would remain a virgin. And behold, St. Joseph came into the presence of Mary, at once enlightened by the Holy Spirit, by a sweet unction, his most pure soul understands that Mary must remain a virgin, that virginity is essential to her person, inseparable from her. Mary inspires only chaste thoughts. She can be loved only with a virginal love. From the first, Joseph is one to the zeal of holy virginity, and their marriage is made on the understanding that they will entrust one another with their virginity. The virginity of Mary will be the treasure of Joseph, as the virginity of Joseph will be the treasure of Mary. What Joseph loves most in Mary is that she is a virgin, so all his love for her consists in guarding very preciously her virginity. Oh, who can tell the delights of such a union which is not of the earth? The two souls of Mary and Joseph meet and melt into one another in the ineffable light of a holy divine fusion, breathing the spiritual perfumes of holy virginity. Virginity is the law of this marriage. A marriage, however, is called to bear fruit. That fruit, says St. Augustine, God gives in the person of his own son, taking flesh in the womb of Mary. In the hidden designs of God, the union of the two spouses prepared for the coming of the Messiah. Now the Messiah becomes their child. Yes, affirms the great doctor St. Augustine. Jesus can rightly be called the fruit of the virginal marriage of Mary and Joseph. He is given not separately to Mary, but to her and to her spouse, to be theirs together. St. Joseph was not informed immediately of the incarnation of the Son of God in his chaste spouse, because she stands ahead of him in election and holiness. Furthermore, the perplexity of Joseph was to serve as witness to the virginal conception of the Saviour. Consider the words of the angel to St. Joseph. He does not give him rights over the child, rights which he could not have. He simply informs him that Mary has conceived by the Holy Spirit and that she remains his spouse in her divine maternity. The bond of marriage is not destroyed by the intervention of the Holy Spirit, who gives it its fruit. It is strengthened by the coming of the Divine Child. O oh, Joseph, spouse of the Mother of God, what dazzling greatness is concealed in that matchless title! And that greatness springs from the exquisite purity of your soul. You are the spouse of the Virgin Mother of God because you are a virgin yourself, a virgin in body and soul. Ah, uh, obtain for us something of that celestial purity which made you so great, yet which left you so humble. Hymn of Supplication Hail, Joseph, pious guardian, husband of the Virgin Mary, educator without equal. May salvation be granted through thy prayer. May the fault of the sinful soul be pardoned. May we be liberated 
through thee from all the pain merited by so many guilty crimes. May all the grace we implore be obtained through thee, above all the salvation of our soul. May all troubled souls be delivered through thy prayer from all their anguish. May thy intercession with Christ procure peace for the universe and health for the sick. Joseph, great son of King David, O oh, think on judgment day of those who believe in Christ. Intercede with the only Savior of mankind, that he may deliver us at the hour of our death. Protect us in this life, and bring joy to the departed, in the heaven of the blessed. Amen. Joseph to be the spouse of your holy mother. Grant us the favor of having him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector. 
You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. In honor of Saint Joseph, let us have a deep love for the holy virtue of purity and avoid dangerous occasions of sin. Let us keep control of our eyes. Let us be mindful of how we dress. Our Lady of Fatima said, there will be fashions which will greatly offend our Lord.